welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a quick rehousing of a C Hati Hati I have here. She is in a very poorly put together uh, Hobby Lobby arboreal setup I try to make. I'm not the greatest with glue, um, so it looks like trash, <laughs> not gonna lie. I've seen tons of people make these way better than I did, but these are very much a temper holding for me and it's like you don't want people to look at them because I'm not very good with glue. Um, but they are very practical. They're cheap to make and then you just drill a hole at the top and you can put a pin in there and it'll hold it tight. It won't open or anything, won't be able to get out. Very practical. You can put as much holes and ventilation as you want. Sky's the limit on your imagination on that one. But this little lady is very, very reclusive. So I thought I might as well bring her into something that is actually gorgeous to look at because 99% of the time I do not see her. Um, so I built this bioactive enclosure yesterday. This one is an eight by 12, um, eight by eight by 12. It will be too small for her by the time she gets fully adult. I prefer most of my arboreals as adults to be in um, 12 by 18, just because I like them to move around a little bit, um, be able to put more plants in there, just make it real pretty for them. But that's just personal preference. She should and could fit in this, but she will get maxed out around seven inches and this is 12 inches and then you gotta count for the dirt. I feel like there's not a lot of wiggle room for her when she gets older, so personal preference. I like to get space when I can. So let's get into this. Maybe we'll see this beautiful purple tarantula in here and let's get it. Okay, here we are with both of our enclosures. As you can see from this angle a little bit better, how hideous this one is. She has built this thing to look like termite mounds. Like she lives in this tunnel back here. She's got a tunnel that comes up back there. And then she's got this cork bark kind of chilling, but you don't see her very often. And now we are gonna move her into this gorgeous setup here. There is a huge section in the back that she can hang out. And I'm hoping she puts her tunnel there and not destroy this poor plant in here. But as usual, I have tweezers, my handy dandy paintbrush, various other soft tools that they could buy that wouldn't hurt them to motivate them in directions. Catch cup number one, my little tiny one that usually does the deal. And then again, giant catch cup just in case because it's a little easier when you have a big catch cup if they're darting so you don't actually catch one of their feet or whatnot. But let's get into finding this little lady. So. Let's get her in out of here. Take this cork bark out of here. I know she's in this tunnel right here. That's 99% of the time where she hangs out. Just trying to eliminate some of the dirt that's going to end up all over the place. Okay, so being that she's in this little dirt tunnel, I'm going to try to put this catch cup at the top of it and then almost milk her out of it so she will sprint straight up. There's another piece of cork bark right here. I do this a lot with slings too to kind of motivate them because they will make little dirt tunnels as well. Come on, little one. There she is. Creeping on out. And okay, I was a little ill prepared. I didn't have something to cap this with. So I can show you guys her. Of course, it's super scratched up and covered in webbing. But she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, her abdomen, let me see if I can show her without she going crazy. She's all striped like that. She will keep that color. And then she's got that tan carapace. The lighting's not really doing her justice, but she is purpley in toned. Very pretty. But again, I don't know why. I feel like I just get lucky. Most, most if not all of my old worlds are just super chill like this. But again... 99% of the time, I leave my tarantulas alone. I do not try to tongue feed them. I do not try to take pictures of them unless I'm rehousing them. Sometimes I can get lucky and one of them will be convenient to take pictures, but that's why if you guys follow me on my Instagram and stuff, sometimes you'll see like the same five because they never hide. But let me get this pretty lady into her new house. I do have the lid already on there, so if she does try to bolt back out, it'll be a little easier to stop her. I'm going to funnel her hopefully where I want her to go. 
which is this back corner and unscrew this. You could too easily leave this container in there and just shut the door and she will walk out on her own if you were scared of her. Cause some people do not always have the friendliest. And bam, she disappeared behind the cork bark. Let me get this camera set up so you can kind of see her. Shut this door so she doesn't randomly disappear. And already can't find her because she is very quick to disappear. Well, quick rehouse to a tarantula that is almost never seen. But thankfully, I now have this absolutely gorgeous enclosure to look at and just watch things disappear into when I feed her. But that is the life of owning some of these tarantulas. But this is her beautiful home. Trust me, she's in there. And thank you so much for watching.